Hmm. More trouble on the Senate floor over budget pardon as another senator reveals that senators got 500 million naira each. Can you imagine? How many senators do we have? The 500 million naira each is almost running into hundreds of billions. How? Which kind of country be this? And they say that Nigeria does not have money that are telling Nigerians to bear and sacrifice. Meanwhile, this is what they are doing. Today now, they've been in a very rapid session in, uh, you know, in a bid to see that they suspend Senator Ningi for revealing the senator's uh, senior secret on budget pardon. Now another senator has revealed a deeper secret now that the senators got 500 million naira each. Uh, how did they happen? Oh boy, today the Senate finds itself er, uh, embroiled in a tumultuous session following Senator uh, Jarigbe, Jarigbe's revelation that all ranking senators received the sum of 500 million naira each. Oh boy, this bombshell was dropped by Senator Jarigbe during Tuesday's plenary session while discussing the motion on the breach of privilege raised by Senator Olamile Kong Adela. Senator Adela invoked orders 9, 10, and 41 and 51 to bring forth a motion of privilege and address the issue of national importance regarding Senator Abdul Ningi's recent interview with the British Broadcasting Corporation in Hausa language. So in this interview, Senator Ningi alleged a disparity between the budget passed by the National Assembly and the one being implemented by the presidency, stating for the first time in Nigerian history, today we are operating two different budgets. The Ford, the, okay, he further claimed apparently we discovered three trillion was inserted into the budget for projects without locations. Can you imagine? So Senator Jarigbe, seeking to provide clarity on the matter, highlighted that the missing 3.7 trillion was alleged uh Okay, as alleged by Senator Abdul Ningi, had been accounted for under the government owned enterprises and first line charge. He remarked, I thought this issue should have ended when the chairman of committee on appropriation explained that the 3.7 trillion were under GOEs and the first line charge. That explains everything, but if we want to express our grouse, I also have mine and we are all cap culpable after all all the ranking senators got 500 million dollars each i am a ranking senator and i didn't get can you imagine so this is a serious one now so the revelation about the alleged disbursement of funds to ranking senators swiftly threw the senate into a very serious disarray all of us are culpable okay some so-called uh, Okay, some so-called senior senators have gotten 500 million naira each from the 2024 budget. I am a ranking senator and I didn't get anything. No senator has a right to accuse Senator Ningi, Senator Jaribe said. Oh boy. <laughs> this was serious, I'm telling you the gospel truth. Ha. So Senator Jaribe Jaribe has now brought another allegation. So the question now is that are they going to suspend Senator Jaribe? Because Senator Jaribe is trying to throw more light into the 3.7 trillion dollar discrepancy between the budget that the Senate approved and the budget that the presidency is implementing. Meaning that they shared it among themselves. That is what it means. The 3.7 trillion have been shared among the senators and they got 500 million naira each. This is very, very terrible. Hmm. This is very, very terrible. How long are we going to continue like this? How long is Nigeria going to be docile watching this criminal, you know, you know, looting Nigeria dry and putting the economy in jeopardy in the name of there's no money? But there is so much money that are sharing. How long? This is terrible. This is terrible. Ah, this is terrible. I must tell you the truth. These guys are thieves. How long are we going to continue watching these thieves like this? So the truth of the budget pardon is gradually coming out. Senators receiving 500 million naira each while Nigerians are faced with hardship. What a failed senators. What failed senators. 
this is gross wickedness for such stealing to be perpetrated during this economic hardship in the country. It is a fact to say that it shall not be well with these lawmakers. God will definitely punish them. So Senator Ningi knows what he's saying. It's a failed nation. That's what somebody's saying. Senator Ningi obviously knows what he's saying. There's a problem there. On that Senator Akpavio, the stealing is going to be worse than the stealing under uh you know under the former senate president Ahmad Lawan this is going to be the worst senate in the history of Nigerian politics uh some of the constituency projects are getting Nigeria deeper into the woods parliamentary uh, parliamentarians can recommend projects but the execution of projects that mostly go against the procurement act is wrong Buhari encouraged it and uh, President Bola Metinubu must stop it if we must progress and stop this corrupt act. For we are, all of them are there for themselves. Hmm. When I go confess, tired. They see they confess. That is the truth. The state of the nation is getting messy, is getting bad by the day. The spirit of God at work. Let your mercy expose those who bring hardship to the masses of Nigeria. Nigerian legislature is purely one chance and they can never repent. Not be lie, these people can never repent. So they got 100, I mean, 500 million naira each. And that is why Senator Kwabi, all of them are just goofing left, right, and center. All that thinking there is how to get more money, not how to save Nigeria, not how to make laws that will help Nigeria, not even how to review the constitutions and block all the loopholes that is causing problems in Nigeria. These are thieves. Nigerians, how long are you going to be watching all this uh, misappropriation going on, all this embezzlement going on at a very high level? Pay Nigerian workers minimum wage. Pay the ASU their salary. Pay the NASU and the, the, the non-academic staff union now and the senior staff association of Nigerian universities are all going on strike now because of the formal salary that they have not paid them. Eh? Nurses, doctors, lecturers, academicians are living like technocrats are running out of Nigeria. People cannot buy gari, cannot buy rice, cannot buy beans, cannot buy anything. Tinubu is issuing order to distribute grains. What is grain? Who is going to eat grain? Eh? I don't understand. And meanwhile, they are stealing among themselves, sharing Nigerian treasuries to themselves. Ha, huh, this is bad, though. This is bad. 500 million naira each. It means that Senator Ningi knows what he's saying. And now, Jarigbe, Jarigbe, another senator um, is working with him. I'm telling you, something is unfolding. These cities will scatter. The House of Rep will scatter. The presidency will scatter. This crop of leaders that we have will scatter. And probably God will remove this country again. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.